Welcome back guys, welcome to another session of Shomu's Biology and again in this video we will be talking about the preservation of wildlife and also preservation of our uh, you know animals and plants that are available. Majorly we will be talking about animals and in this video we are focusing on certain terminologies again important for CSI and NET and other exams and also you need to know about uh, the life of other animals what is going on that is uh, the different types of uh, species that are being extinct or that are in the verge of extinction and the name of them and how they are organized because sometimes people kind of uh, you know mix all those things up uh, the, those terminologies are very close to each other to make a difference so let us talk about those difference between those terminologies and also uh, let's talk about the example of each type for example here let's begin with the situation with uh, you know the scale of extinction so if i draw the scale of extinction what it will look like we begin from the least concerned species that is they are least concerned about the extinction and we are going on the top which is very very rare or extinct so let's go for the base which is broader to the top which is very smaller something like that right so in the bottom we are having very low risk low risk individuals so let's say up to this level it's a, it's a low risk individual up to this part is the endangered individual endangered so let me write endangered right and up to the top let's say the extinct extinct individuals so these are the three different types so let me write low risk here like that so this is suppose a, a drawing of how it's going on there now in the low risk individuals you can you can have four different types or many different ways so so let's begin from the extinction because that's what uh, the major concern now it is because the individuals that are present in the low risk zone are not much of concern because they are present in higher amounts there right of course uh, so let's begin from the extinct so in the extinction region we have two different separate lines not one two things so what are those things one thing is extinct that is that means uh, what what extinct means extinct means the type of organism whatever organism that is that was present earlier but now is not present right now to be very frank extinction means there is not a single species of that organism is now available in planet none of them are available everybody just gone right sometimes what happens one organism is present suppose it's present in a captive situation where in, in a human breeding environment but still that particular mammal for example loss, loses the capability for breeding right so we know in, at that time that it is going to be extinct so the organism even is present but it loses the breeding property so in that case also we can't call them extinct we only call them extinct when all of the individuals are gone actually technically once we look at them right sometimes what happens once we are dealing with the situation we declare certain things that as extinct suppose this organism a is extinct but what happens after certain years uh, we find that organism again so due to miscalculations because nowadays also till now we are unable to explore all the individuals or all the all the uh, animals or plants that are present in planet right because we never know we never know right because we can't go all the way down all the way throughout the throughout the planet to search for the animals there are plenty of regions and plenty of species that still are yet to be discovered right so keep this thing in your mind so here extinct means completely uh, ruled out and the example here is dodo of mauritius that is completely extinct let's see the second thing about the extinction is called extinct in the wild so let me write it here extinct in wild so extinct in wild in this case wild extinction means a particular species of organism or individual of, or animal whatever you take is not present in wild none of the singles of that species is present in the wild they are not survived in the wild but we have some of them in the captive situation where individual or human being are monitoring their growth and their reproduction and we are reproducing them to produce better variety so that we can reintroduce them into the wild this is a situation which is called extinct in the wild category now in the extinct in the wild category the example here is hawaiian crow exact name or scientific name i'm not writing i'm simply writing the normal name so that you can memorize them very quickly hawaiian crow is an example of extinct in the wild species 
So here comes the extinction level. That's why written in the red because they are actually written in the red. They are actually placed in called the red data book. The second part, which is the endangered type of species, contains the many huge and very very important type of an individuals or animals nowadays because they are kind of endangered. Endangered species means according to human activities over the years and according to depletion of the food sources for them and also properties and interference with the breeding of those animals, they are kind of on in the verge of extinction. So if you don't take actual care, they will be extinct someday in near future. Right? So that's why they are called endangered species. Now among the endangered species, we can divide them into three different parts. In the first part, what we can say here is critically endangered, critically endangered. That is one thing. So critically endangered is the first. Second is endangered. Okay. Critically endangered and endangered species. Okay, and all of them are actually, um, this group is actually termed as threatened species actually, threatened species or threatened group. I written here as endangered, but actually this is a threatened type of species. So two types majorly, majorly two types. So let me, critically endangered and endangered and also, also another third one, let me write it here, vulnerable vulnerable species these are the three different types of uh, endangered i mean uh, threatened species are available nowadays if you look at here critical endangered species means they are standing at the very front line of the extinction on virtue of ex extinction so if someone is going to extinct first this critical endangered species is the first kind who are going to be extinct in the future then endangered one then vulnerable one Right? Endangered species means they are also on virtue of endangerment, but less than critical endangered. And vulnerable means they are vulnerable for the extinction, but or if only they, uh, if only they are, uh, if, if only people are interfering with their breeding and also if only their, uh, I mean, food source is depleted or other things happen. Otherwise, if you keep all those things natural, if you make those things better, those vulnerable species are going to be at low risk right so if we allow them to breed properly and if we provide them a natural resource to live and eat right so in that case they might be getting into the low danger low end the low risk type of species and that's what different biosphere reserves forests and sanctuaries national parks they're doing nowadays so we are reserving them so that we can increase the percentage of those biodiversity in the wild Right? Because you know the very important fact and that is whatever thing we know, all of it, all of the individuals that we know of, uh, of, of animals, 99.9% .9 of them are extinct now. Whatever we have ever existed in the planet, 99.9% .9 are extinct now. So in the very virtue, we will all be extinct one day. That is one very confession, confessing fact actually. Now, if we look at here the examples of that, you know, in extinct, we I, I may also write the dinosaurs because they are on virtue of very famous. So, let's say the threatened one, the critically endangered species and here comes the example of all of them. In critically endangered, I may have uh, want to look, if we look at here critically endangered species in India, I am going to write, I want to write certain names and names are, you know, vulture, vulture or Indian vulture not actual vulture, Indian vulture is a critically endangered species. You can't actually see vultures nowadays at all, right? So it is kind of critically endangered species. Along with that, you know, Ganges shark is another endangered species, critically. And in the among endangered species, there are a lot more examples. And the examples are one horned rhino, right? One horn rhinoceros that's also among india if we look at here uh, blue whale right blue whale is another endangered species you need to memorize these names right and among the vulnerable one any kind of elephants actually majorly now indian elephant then you can say uh, i mean this is elephant is an example pure 
and even among endangered you can also see ganges dolphin that's also something i think very cool animal but he is uh, it is in verge of extinction so these are among the threatened type of species and the final one is the low risk species and among the low risk we are having uh, near threatened we are having first which is near threatened and and the last one which is present there is very low risk it actually doesn't matter right so it is called least concern type of species at, at last okay so if you look at here uh, the near danger species at, at this particular area the near near danger species example is jaguar because it is very very famous now uh, not because its own name because of different brand names that are coming according to the name of jaguar and so it's kind of tiger present there and low risk is least concerned an example is arctic fox right example is brown bear and so on right so you can see these are the different examples you know you can choose whatever example you can right because you know example you choose example according to your own need according to your own sense whichever you can memorize first right so it, it doesn't really matter but what matters is you need to understand this this key this this actual pyramid of from low risk towards the extinction right so we go up towards the extinction and here comes the extinction point and this is the low risk point right so if you understand that thing rest of the thing is up to use uh, yours that whatever example you choose and write it down right so practice it because you are going to need some of this because sometimes they also give you example names and say whether this is an endangered or uh, you know uh, vulnerable or threatened you can't answer if you don't know this key right so that's the key thing to understand